everybody. Pat Patterson from ESPN Radio and Sirius NASCAR Radio Channel 90. Great to have you and the Brandt team at the Monster Mile this weekend. This is a great place to race, and our driver, Justin Allgaier, really likes it a lot. Here's this week's Inside Line with Justin Allgaier, driver of the number 31 Brandt Racing Chevy. You know, it's, uh, it's funny when we talk about Dover. Uh, when I first started coming to Dover, I hated it. Uh, my least favorite racetrack on the schedule. Just absolutely hated going there. And uh, over the course of the years, just started figuring some things out of how to drive it and how to be better there. And one of the things that uh, that's very interesting to me about Dover is when I first went there, I had somebody tell me, oh, you can drive all the way down into the corner until the car lands and then let off the gas. And you'll be fine. I did that for years. Um, I can assure you that is not the correct way to get around Dover. You can make it, but it's not the fastest way around there. So I changed my driving style and got to be uh, to where I felt really comfortable. And, and it's been one of those racetracks here of late that, that I really enjoy going to and, and feel like we can be a threat to go win the race week in and week out there. You know, there's nothing really more awkward than, than driving into the corner of Dover. Uh, you, you turn off the wall and you land into that banking. And there's so much banking that, that, that you actually feel like your, your body is going straight down. Well, one of the problems with that is, is your helmet weighs um, a decent amount compared to the rest of your body. So as you go off into that corner and you slam into that banking, your helmet kind of drives down into your shoulders. So that moves your arms up, which moves your butt down farther in the seat. And 20 laps in, you can barely see over the dash. So you got to scoot your way back up there and keep tightening the seat belt. So it's um, it's for sure an interesting an interesting feeling. Um, you know the the physics of Dover are are absolutely unbelievable. So, but I think that that's what what makes it so much fun and and so physically demanding.